Welcome to DVC 101, the series that covers everything you need to know before and after joining Disney Vacation Club. My name's Robert, and my wife and I lived in the Walt Disney World Resorts for an entire year, and we've stayed in each different villa at every single Disney Vacation Club resort on the East Coast. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the use year of your Disney Vacation Club membership, how it's going to affect the way that you use your points, and some things you should think about before purchasing your contract with Disney Vacation Club. If you'd like a general overview of Disney Vacation Club and how it works, or you're looking for specific information on other topics around DVC, we do have videos in a playlist over on our channel, and you can find those at dvc101.com. The first thing we're gonna talk about is what is a use year? Your use year is part of your contract when you buy into Disney Vacation Club. It's essentially the fiscal year for your account. Much like businesses can have fiscal years that don't align with a calendar year, Disney's fiscal year, for example, starts October 1st and ends September 30th every year, your use year will not align with a calendar year. Each year for the duration of your contract, you're going to have your allotted number of vacation points that start on the first day of your use year and expire on the last day before your new use year. Throughout this video, we're gonna be using the same example of a 100 point contract at Disney's Riviera Resort with a June use year that was purchased directly from Disney. That means every year from June 1st to May 31st of the following year, we will have 100 points that we can use to book accommodations at Disney Vacation Club Resorts. We can also bank and borrow those points. And if you'd like more information on banking and borrowing and how all that works, you can check out our video on that in the playlist DVC 101 on our channel. Your use year doesn't have anything to do with your booking window. You can always book at your home resort 11 months from check-in no matter what. So let's say we wanted to book a vacation in June of 2022 using our June 2022 vacation points. We don't have to wait until June 1st for those points to be loaded in our account. They're already there a couple years ahead of time, so you can book it at exactly 11 months out on July 1st of 2021 you do not have to wait until your use year rolls around to get access to those points. One other thing that's determined by your use year is your banking deadline. If you're going to bank your DVC points into the following use year, you do have to do that by a certain date, which is eight months from the start of your use year. So again, in our example, June is our use year. We must bank our points by January 31st of the following year, otherwise they will expire on May 31st. If we do bank them before the end of business on January 31st, they will no longer be valid for the rest of our 2021 use year, but they will instead be valid from June 1st, 2022, all the way to May 31st, 2023 and they will expire on May 31st, 2023 because you cannot bank them more than one time. Disney Vacation Club offers eight different use years that you can choose from when you're purchasing your contract, and each of those use years has their own respective banking deadline. You wanna pay close attention to this date for your use year and make sure you do not miss it because if you miss that deadline, your points cannot be banked. There is nothing they can do to help you. So I recommend setting a recurring event in your calendar a few days before the banking deadline for your use year. That way you can evaluate whether or not you're going to use those points in the final four months of your use year and bank them if you need to. Many people don't know that when you're purchasing your Disney Vacation Club contract, you can actually request a specific use year from DVC. Now, when you're purchasing on the resale market, remember you're purchasing a contract that's already been written, so that use year cannot be changed. If I decided to sell my Vacation Club contract from Riviera for 100 points for whatever reason and sell it to you, I could not change that June use year when I sell it to you. It is locked in for the duration of the contract, no matter who the owner is. But if I'm purchasing a brand new contract directly from Disney, I can tell them that, hey, I know I'm purchasing this contract and you said you're gonna give me a December use year. I'd really rather have a June use year and they will do their best to accommodate that. You may have to go on a wait list and wait a little longer to purchase, especially if you're buying at a sold out resort, but most likely they're gonna be able to find that use year for you, at least if you're purchasing at a resort that is currently not sold out. You may be wondering why it even matters if you choose a certain use year over another. Well, if you travel throughout the year and don't have a set vacation time that you typically go and would use those points, it may not matter which use year you have. 
We personally use our points all throughout the year and don't have a specific time that we vacation, so it really doesn't matter what use year we have. We just need to pay close attention again to that banking deadline and make sure we don't miss that. But if you tend to travel at a specific time of year or on a specific date, then you really should take a close look at which use year you're getting. For our example, we're gonna be talking about July 4th as our typical vacation time. We're gonna say we typically vacation during that week of July 4th, maybe a little before, maybe a little after, but that's when we usually go as a family. Our June use year is a perfect choice for those who like to vacation around July 4th because of a couple different reasons. Assuming our vacation goes forward as planned and we do travel for July 4th, then our use year really doesn't matter all that much. But when it really matters is when things come up and you have to change your plans. If you ever have to cancel a DVC reservation and you are 30 days or less from check-in, barring the day of check-in, then you're going to have all of those points from that reservation put into a holding account. The holding account is somewhere you do not ever want your points to be because they have a lot of restrictions on them. Those points can only be used within 60 days of check-in, which means you're probably going to be severely limited to your choices of rooms when you're using those holding points. In addition, you cannot bank those points and you cannot borrow those points. They are stuck in that holding account and if you don't use them by the end of your use year, they are going to expire. So back with our July 4th example, if we were to cancel our reservation in the middle of June, just a few weeks from travel, all of those points from that reservation are going to go into holding. We don't want them there, but at least we have all the way until May 31st of the following year to use those points. If we had a different use year, let's say we had an August use year, which means our points were going to expire at the end of July, we cancel our reservation on June 15th, those points are now in our holding account and are going to expire just 45 days later at the end of July. Obviously, we're gonna do all we can to avoid the holding account situation in the first place, but if it happens, you wanna make sure you give yourself the best chance possible to use those points before they expire. The second thing to think about is that banking deadline we've already referenced a few times. Again, with our example, let's say we had our July 4th trip and we had our June use year. We cancel our July 4th trip back in April, because we know it's just not gonna happen this year, that's okay, because we have until January of the following year to bank those points. If we had that August use year and we decided to cancel in April, we are already past our banking deadline for the August use year, which means even though our points are not in a holding account, they're still going to expire at the end of July and there's no way that we can bank them. Once again, we're just trying to make sure we have the best opportunity possible to get the full use out of our Vacation Club membership. We don't ever wanna have points that we feel like we're forced to go on a trip with. We wanna utilize the flexibility that DVC offers with their point system and make sure we don't have any that go to waste. There can often be a lot of confusion around which use year the points are going to come from when you're making a reservation. The easiest thing to remember is that your points are always going to come from the use year in which the travel occurs. So if we're using our June points from Riviera and we're booking a room in June of 2022 and we're using all 100 points, those are going to come from our June 2022 use year. Even though we're booking it right now in our June 2021 use year, the travel dates are in 2022. Now, if we wanted to have more points available to us in that 2022 use year, we can bank some of our 2021 points forward, or we can borrow back some of our 2023 points. But since banking and borrowing are final transactions, they are no longer points from 2021 or 2023. They are now also June 2022 use year points. So if for whatever reason we had to cancel our June reservation for 2022, and we did so before that 30 day mark where they're gonna go into holding, all of those points would be returned to the June 2022 use year, including the banked and borrowed points. Those banked and borrowed points will not be returned to their original use years. They will be stuck in the 2022 use year. Now our 100 allotted points for the June 2022 use year that were not banked or borrowed in can still be banked before January 31st of 2023, just like they always could. But again, those banked and borrowed points are going to have to be used by May 31st. Another common point of confusion is around your annual dues. People wanna know how they're gonna pay their annual dues based on the use year that they have. 
and it's a really simple answer. Your annual dues are not based on your use year, but are actually calendar based. So every year on January 15th, your annual dues payment is due unless you've opted for those automatic monthly debits from your checking account. It doesn't matter which use year you have, we all have the same due date for our annual dues. We've talked about buying a contract and choosing your use year if you're new to Disney Vacation Club. What if you're already a DVC member and you'd like to get some more points by adding on another contract? Should you choose the same use year that you already have or should you choose a new use year for your new contract? There's a couple pros and cons to each one. If you're choosing the same use year, that's going to be the easiest solution. If you're purchasing direct, that's going to be what Disney will automatically do for you when you're purchasing. So if we wanted to add another 100 points at Riviera Resort, or we wanted to add on 100 points at a different resort like Copper Creek, Disney is going to give us the June use year for either of those points when we purchase our contract because that's going to be the easiest for them and also the easiest for us when it comes to managing our membership. All of our contracts that have the same use year are going to be under one membership number. Even if we have multiple resorts or multiple contracts at the same resort, it's all under the same membership number, which means when it comes time to book, our points act like one giant pool for each resort that we're booking if we're trying to book in that 11 month window. So our extra 100 points at Riviera Resort with a June use year would be in our account as a separate contract, but when it comes time to book, we can use both of those seamlessly in a single transaction to book whatever room we're trying to get. If you're purchasing a resale contract, it'll be the same for you in your account where your contracts are loaded up together under one membership number as long as they have the same use year. Just keep in mind that the restrictions on your resale points as far as where you can use them will still apply even though they're under the same membership number and under the same account when you log into the website. So if you've purchased a resale contract at Disney's Riviera Resort and a direct contract at Riviera Resort, you can only use your direct points to book at the other DVC resorts. Those resale points are restricted to only booking at Disney's Riviera Resort. If you're purchasing a new contract in a different use year, you can still do that, but you will have a new membership number. You'll still be able to use the same login to the Disney Vacation Club website, but you'll have two memberships listed there, one with each use year. It'll also be a little bit more difficult to manage just because you have two different use years with two different banking deadlines, and you'll wanna make sure that you're using each of those contracts in the smartest way possible when you're booking your different vacations. Different use years does give you a little bit more flexibility around your travel because you now have two different banking deadlines and two different buckets of points to pull from. Having two different use years can be a little bit more advantageous if you like to travel at different times of the year. So in our example, we said we typically go on July 4th, so a June use year was a great choice for us. But what if we also like to go at Christmas every year? In that case, it might make more sense for us to have 100 points in our June use year and have another contract of 100 points in a December use year or an October use year so that we can use those points for our Christmas reservations and still, again, have the flexibility to bank those points if we have to cancel because our banking window doesn't come up until May or July for October and December respectively. So there's no real right or wrong answer when it comes to choosing the same use year or a different use year. You just need to make sure that you're doing what's best for the way that you're going to use your DVC membership. One more thing to consider when purchasing a direct contract from Disney and trying to choose a use year is the fact that when you buy from Disney, they will always give you the current use years points and bank them for you if you're past the banking deadline. So we're gonna stick with our example of a June use year for July 4th traveling, and we're gonna buy another 100 point add-on from Disney Vacation Club. It is now the middle of April, 2021, and I'm ready to purchase that add-on contract. If I get a June use year, I'm going to receive 100 points for June 2020, because we are still currently in June 2020 use year up until May 31st of 2021. As long as I purchased that contract before May 31st of 2021, I'm going to receive 100 points for my June 2020 use year. And then on June 1st of 2021, I'm gonna receive another 100 points that I'm allotted for 2021's use year. Since I'm purchasing on April 15th, 
if I were to try and purchase an April use year, I would not receive the 2020 allotment of points because that use year has already passed. We are now in the April 2021 use year, which means I'm only going to get the current use year's points that are going to expire in 11 and a half months. Those points are not free points or bonus points or some type of incentive they give you to purchase within a limited time. You are always going to get those current use years points. So don't feel like you have to make a decision today so that you can get that extra allotment of 100 points for your contract. Ultimately, you need to make the decision on use year based on your vacationing habits and the way you see yourself vacationing in the future. While it can be nice to get a few extra points from another bonus use year if you buy before your use year has ended, it's not worth making a bad decision on a use year that wouldn't be ideal for your vacationing habits in the long run. We covered a lot of the ins and outs of your use year with Disney Vacation Club in this video, but there is a lot more to DVC than just your use year. If you'd like more information about those things, you can head over to our channel to the DVC 101 playlist, and we've got a bunch of videos over there explaining the various parts of DVC for you. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button down below and leave a comment letting me know. If you have any additional questions about use year, you can leave that in the comments as well, and you might just see your question answered on a future video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and whether you're a longtime DVC member or you're new to the DVC family, welcome home.